Bob got up, you know, he kept grabbing his chest a little bit and just kind of making, you know, the grunting noises. So I got up and I said, what's wrong? And he said, my, my chest really hurts. I got on the computer more to talk myself out of it. So I went through the list of symptoms, yes, 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 and then I asked him if he was nauseated, he said no. Two minutes later, I heard him in the bathroom. And uh, I got nauseous. And, and Jill goes, uh-oh, we gotta call paramedics. I think you might be having a heart attack. It was surreal to be so far away from home and then for this to happen. And then we got to, to the emergency and it was really quiet, there was nobody there. They take me up to uh, ICU, and the, uh, this doctor comes in. He told me that I had two blockages to put stents in. He said there are two arteries. One of them, the left anterior descending artery, is 100% blocked. I googled left anterior descending artery while I was standing there. And the word that came up is Widowmaker. You know, I told Jill, you know, if it doesn't work out, you know, I was telling her things to do. And because uh, I really thought <laughs> I was I was thinking of Bodie. Give me a minute here. I asked that doctor when we left if that artery was a hundred percent blocked. Why? didn't Bob die? And he said, because he was very lucky. I thought I was invincible. I was stubborn. And uh, it, was, it was a wake-up call. I mean, I just believe there was a much bigger power in play that day. I, I think God had us firmly wrapped in his hands. If she hadn't have gone with me, you know, I would have never thought that I was having a hard time. By her coming on the trip with me really, really saved my life.